Hey there, guys. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to SciMator Academy. Today, we are diving into a crucial aspect of aviation. Aircraft weight and balance. Specifically for single-engine aircraft. But before we get into the details, do us a favor and smash that like button and hit subscribe for more awesome content. Why aircraft weight and balance matters. Now, let's talk about why calculating aircraft weight and balance is absolutely essential. Here are four key reasons. Weight and balance data allow pilots to determine the loaded weight of the aircraft. It helps ensure that the loaded center of gravity, CG, falls within the allowable range for safe operation. Proper weight and balance are critical for the safety and performance of the aircraft. Maintaining the correct weight and balance ensures optimal handling characteristics during flight. Understanding weight and balance data so, what kind of data do we need to crunch to get this right? We are talking about factors like the center of gravity, CG, range, the number of seats, fuel capacity, maximum baggage, and more. Determining loaded weight and CG. Now, let's get down to business. How do we figure out the loaded weight and CG of the aircraft? It's all about pre-flight planning. We need to make sure the aircraft is loaded safely within the allowable limits. And there are two main methods to do this. One, the computational method and two, the loading graph method. Manual computational method. This method involves using weights, arms, and moments to calculate the total weight and CG location. It's like solving a puzzle where each piece represents different components of the aircraft's weight and balance. The product of weight and arm equals moment. The center of gravity is equals to total moment divided by total weight. Using a worksheet. To make things easier, we often use a worksheet. This worksheet helps us organize all the pertinent data, including the weight and CG of passengers, fuel, and baggage. Planning the flight. When planning a flight, we fill in the blanks on the worksheet with specific data for that particular journey. This ensures that we have a clear picture of the aircraft's weight and balance before takeoff, promoting safety and efficiency throughout the flight. Airplane Loading Diagram When planning the flight, you'll need to fill in the blanks in the worksheet with the specific data for the flight. The airplane loading diagram, such as, pilot weight is 180 pounds and front seat passenger is 120 pounds, are located at a distance of 37 inches aft of datum. The sum of weight of a pilot and front seat passenger will be 300 pounds. Rear seat passenger weight is 175 pounds, is located at a distance of 74 inches aft of datum. Fuel, 88 gallons 528 pounds, is located at a distance of 46.6 inches aft of datum. Baggage A, 100 pounds maximum, is located at a distance of 97 inches aft of datum. Baggage B, 50 pounds, is located at a distance of 116 inches aft of datum. Now, let's determine the moment of each item by multiplying its weight by its arm. Then, we'll find the total weight and some of the moments. After that, we'll divide the total moment by the total weight to determine the CG in inches from the datum. For example, weight of a pilot and front seat passenger, 120 pounds plus 180 pounds, times arm length, 37 inch, is equals to pilot moment and front seat passenger, 11,100 pound inch. Rear seat passenger, 
175 pounds times arm length 74 inch is equals to rear passenger moment 12,950 pound inch. Fuel, 88 gallons, 528 pounds, times arm, 46.6 inches equals to fuel moment 24, 604.8 pound inch. Baggage A, 100 pounds, times arm length 97 inches equals to baggage A moment 9,700 pound inch. Baggage B, 50 pounds, times arm length 116 inches equals to baggage B moment 5,800 pound inch. Then, calculate the total weight and sum of the moments. Finally, divide the total moment by the total weight to determine the CG in inches from the datum. Steps to determine the center of gravity, CG find the individual moment, the sum is equal to total moment. Calculate the total weight. Total moment by the total weight to find the CG distance from the datum. Total weight is equal to 300 plus 175 plus 528 plus 100 plus 50 is equal to 3027 pounds. Total moment is equal to 67,651.4 plus 11,100.0 plus 12,950.0 plus 24,604.8 plus 9,700.0 plus 5,800.0 is equal to 131,806.2 inch pounds. Center of gravity is equal to total moment divided by total weight is equal to 131,806.2 divided by 3027 is equal to positive 43.54 inch. In this example, the total weight is 3,027 pounds and the CG is 43.54 inches aft of the datum. CG limits chart. To ensure the airplane is properly loaded for this flight, use the CG limits envelope in figure, typical of those found in the pilot operating handbook. The takeoff envelope showing on the red rectangular picture at CG limit chart from a typical pilot operating handbook in the picture showing the broken line designated for takeoff only. Distance aft of datum showing at the bottom of the center of gravity limits chart from a typical pilot operating handbook. Takeoff weight and landing weight, which showing in the yellow line on the center of gravity limits chart from a typical pilot operating handbook. Aircraft calculating CG should be laid on the CG limit chart from a typical pilot operating handbook. Locating the crossing point of vertical and horizontal based on calculated CG and total weight of loading. Draw a line vertically upward from the CG of 43.54 inches and one horizontally to the right from the loaded weight of 3,027 pounds. If these lines cross inside the envelope, the airplane is properly loaded for takeoff, but it's 77 pounds overweight for landing. Because allowable weight for landing is 2,950 pounds, but calculated total weight is 3,027 pounds, that means the allowable load exceeds 77 pounds. Loading graph method. Alternatively, you can use the loading graph method, which simplifies and speeds up the pre-flight weight and balance computation. This method utilizes charts and graphs from the pilot operating handbook, including loading graphs and moment indexes. Moment indexes. Moment indexes.
by dividing the moment by a reduction factor like 100 or 1000. The loading graph provides moment indexes for components, eliminating the need for complex calculations. These charts eliminate the need for calculating moments and make computations quicker and easier. Moment indexes are used to avoid handling large numbers resulting from multiplying the weight of each component by its arm. To compute the weight and balance using the loading graph, we'll follow these steps. Make a loading schedule chart similar follow the instructions provided. Follow the horizontal line for a 300 pound load weight to the right until it intersects the diagonal line for the pilot and front passenger. Drop a line vertically to the load moment index along the bottom to determine the load moment for the front seat occupants. Record this value. Determine the load moment for the rear seat occupants 175 pounds along the diagonal for second row passengers or cargo record this value determine the load moment for the fuel and baggage in areas a and b using the same method record these values enter all weights and moment indexes in the loading schedule chart and calculate the totals Transfer these values to the CG moment envelope in. Check if the lines drawn from the weight and loaded moment cross within the CG moment envelope to confirm proper loading. The loading schedule should show total weight of the loaded aircraft, 3,027 pounds loaded airplane moment divided by 1,131. Drawing a line vertically upward from 131.8 on the horizontal index and a horizontal line from 3,027 pounds in the left-hand vertical index should intersect within the dashed area, indicating the aircraft is properly loaded for takeoff, but too heavy for landing. If the aircraft needed to return for landing, it would have to fly long enough to burn off 77 pounds, slightly less than 13 gallons, of fuel to reduce its weight to the allowable amount for landing. And there you have it. Understanding aircraft weight and balance is crucial for every pilot. Finally, aircraft weight and balance are crucial for safe flight. It involves calculating the loaded weight and center of gravity CG, of the aircraft. Proper weight and balance ensure safety and performance. Use a worksheet or loading graph to calculate weight and moment. Adjustments can be made if the CG falls outside the allowable range. Always refer to the aircraft's manual for specific information. Stay tuned for more aviation insights from Simato Academy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content.